Hello, my name is Eduardo Lengnam and yes, I'm a piping engineer and uh, for this seminar we'll introduce you to the trend uh, in use of non-metallic uh, materials primarily for piping. It's going to be um, brief but intense. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, so we'll start uh, looking at this. So the the trend uh, is actually a very lengthy one. It's been quite a long time that uh, we are debating about uh, non-metallics use uh, inside battery limits for the use of pipelines. We are not going to debate uh, in this seminar. So as indicated in the previous slides for uh, P31, uh, for P31, for P31.8, there's, there's, a, there's a wide number of applications. Now, inside the plant, this is a bit more complicated, but um, let's uh, start looking at uh, what are the pros and cons. Okay, so we'll start with uh, RTR, which is a um, very famous uh, material in some places, uh, GR, call us GRE or GRP. This is uh, basically uh, gaining a lot of uh, momentum in large, uh, for large water services, like let's say cooling water. Um, there's a number of benefits, uh, you know, for abrasive uh, terrain, it's, it's very good. Uh, you know, it resists very well uh, environmental conditions. So it's pretty much using being used, uh, you know, largely for cooling water, Middle East desert areas, with uh, bits of ups and downs. So there is a problem with RTRs. Just you know, minor failings in installations are led to complications, but overall has good rating within the world of design engineering. Okay, so the most uh, extensively used non-metallic uh, is, is the you know polyethylene or HDPE. Um, as mentioned, it's as you can see here in the photo uh, for for delivery of, of of water water injection in the um, upstream industry is it's uh, it's been used extensively. Uh, there's there's some reports of failures here and there. There's lessons learned. But pretty much is doing well now within the boundary limits of the plant. Uh, this material is being proven to be very, uh, very uh, inexpensive for for installation. But there is not a lot more benefits for thirty one three thirty one one. So it, degradation is one of the the problems what we got. Uh, so the uh, you know OPEX it's. Um, Quite quite high. Okay, so this uh, 
this material it's uh it's been used for uh you know chemical injections morse kits uh you know in indoor uh areas uh, it's 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 fine for for outdoor settings um probably not as good and as for above ground you know it's fragility handling uh dangerous chemi chemicals it's it's uh probably not a great advantage Overall, it's doing doing well in laboratories and uh, you know some uh, small uh, dosage uh, systems. You know you wouldn't see this extensively used in any in any process plant, but as I said, it's 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 doing well in some settings. I don't have personal experience of having used this uh, quite a lot, but but it's it's proven to be doing good in those described environments. I think I mean and for and for my you know in my opinion the PTFE is is the great winner within let's say boundary limits it's it's being used more and more and uh it's it's avoiding the use of more expensive materials so PDF line systems uh are really really doing well and I I I personally like them and I think uh this is this is the story of a successful use um there's been there's been uh situations in which uh the the extent of the use of of this kind of system has been uh you know proven largely in a in a wide variety of fluids uh and pressures obviously we got temperature limitation um but um other than that i think this is a, quite of a successful non metallic material in process Okay, so polypropylene uh, again. This is a thermoplastic that uh, it's it's been used for many water services within plants. Now it has a good number of uh, problems. It's, it's 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 highly unstable and uh, it it it's prone to degradation uh, much uh, much much faster than other non-metallics. Uh, I think this does the Polypropylene is is used in, a, in very specific circumstances. Uh, I, I'm not aware that that can be used widely. Uh, so it, it's got very specific uh, installations. Um, the, the the cost is similar to to others. That you know it 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 requires a lot of infrastructure if if you want to install it above ground. So it's pretty much useful for underground works. Okay, so we've got now equipments. Uh, to be uh, perfectly clear, I mean, we're, we're referring to uh, nowadays, there's practically no limits to go with non-metallics. But, you know, overall, we will be talking about tanks and we'll be talking about pumps. Uh, pumps uh, can be used for demi-water and uh, hypochlorite pumps. They, they have metallic inserts and... Uh, they don't have the same, uh, you know, uh, limitation as you know other other codes for 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 this kind of equipment. For the tanks, it's the same. They they can be shaped uh, as per other standards, but obviously, being this made of non-metallics, we have to uh, we have to understand that the limitations of uh, imposing loads in these equipments uh, will be much much smaller so one of the problems you go in plants is that if you got a tank uh, made out of uh, RTR you have to put it like into a cage if the valves you're gonna connect will remain as metallic which is a, which is a limitation so we will see more and more that you know within the plant we're trying to bury all of the non metallics to, to be used uh, uh, underground because above ground that's still very very complicated uh, Unless uh, you got all of the plant protected everywhere, they are subject to, to damage and rupture. And uh, that is very difficult to avoid because of external factors.
Okay, so we have arrived to the final page of this presentation in which we can say that, yes, there is a, a lot of pros in terms of cost. Uh, and then there's a lot of cons about, uh, you know, solar gain, flexibility, fragility uh, in front of uh, industrial heavy duty conditions, whether those are above ground or underground. Um, this is a very difficult scenario for a non-metallic. So overall, it's all about corrosion. Um, and this has to be analyzed on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, pretty much if you're in a very corrosive project, there's going to be a lot of gains that you need to consider, but it is not possible to recommend the use of non-metallic just on a, on a more, to a more wide, wide audience. It's not, it's not such, a stri such a straightforward decision. To, to decide to use it and and the gains are not as clear it needs to be it needs to be uh, seen as a, as, a, as an advantage only dependent on the fluid that you'll be going to handle and this is all for me in this presentation I hope you enjoyed it Well, this is it. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed and if you have any questions, please uh, submit through the through the program. Nice to see you and hope you can uh, join us again in the next edition. All the best.